So this is a arm that I've built that takes advantage of a lot of mechanical advantage and is able to hopefully cut through quite a bit of stuff. So basically how it works is you have a linear actuator here and this is a bolt cutter so it more or less pivots here. Uh, there's actually a little ball in here that it's supposed to pivot on in normal operation. So the actuator is like a hydraulic piston. It operates in basically the same way. It's just uh, driven with a screw on the inside. So we've got a motor with a, basically a worm drive gearbox in there. And then this comes in and out. And the gear reduction in there is crazy. I don't know what the exact uh, number on it is. But as you can see, as we go open and closed, it pivots over there and then the jaws can open and close. So I'm gonna cut some stuff and uh, just see what it can do, what it can't do, and hopefully it uh, is equally as effective as just a regular pair of bolt cutters. Stick. Should be absolutely no problem. So here's some uh, 14 gauge copper stranded wire. This is very thin stranding, very flexible wire. It's for automotive use mainly. It's what I use it for. So let's uh, see what it does. Not a problem at all. So here's a row of uh, 12 gauge copper stranded wire for like wiring your house. This is more of house wire, not automotive wire. So it's a little bit thicker. Uh, stranding in there, not as flexible. Oops. So let's go down on that. I'll just twist it a little bit and it's off. So this is a nice thick power cable. It's got a couple of uh, large sets of copper stranded wire in there, roughly just under half an inch in diameter. It's got this plasticky insulator crap in it, so it probably won't cut through that. But as far as the copper cabling itself goes, should do just fine. So we'll just put it in there. And as you can see, it cut through all of the copper cabling. It's just a little bit of a plasticky, strandy stuff that is holding on. So we have a piece of chain in there. We'll try that. Got it. Here's your standard off-the-shelf master lock. It's got a hardened shackle according to the labeling there. And we got it. No problem with that at all. Now we're just going to cut through it again, but we're going to watch how many amps it draws how much power it's actually taking. So we're about five and a half, which isn't bad. That's not actually all that much. This is a very, very strong linear actuator. Here's an M6 bolt. We're just gonna see if we can nip the end off of it. Not a problem at all with that. Nice, clean cut. So in conclusion, anything uh, past something like this would be a job for probably a rotating cutting disc or a different form of entry. Because um, this is what this is designed for. You don't want to 
use things in a way that they're not designed. Look at me saying that while I'm building this. Um, but I think for, for what I have intended it for and the performance it's shown me, I think it's adequate and it should do just fine.